let's go out west to meet two brothers who are making history in their sport. Of all the great high school athletes in Southern California this year, the two most accomplished can be found on a wrestling mat at St. John Bosco. Brothers Anthony and Zaid Valencia have been dominant in their first three years of high school. They're the two best high school wrestlers in the country, but their coach says they deserve even more praise than that. These two boys, uh, in my opinion, and I think in, um, on the national circuit, um, most people that are really involved in the sport of wrestling would agree. They are the two most prolific high school wrestlers in, in history, in national history, with their accomplishments and what they've done. And you won't get any argument from these guys when they hear a statement like that. Yeah, I do agree with that. I feel, I feel that we're, we're the best. It makes us feel good, and I know we deserve it, and we want, we want to stay at the top so we keep on working because we know if we start slacking off a little bit, we know that there's other wrestlers that are working hard and they slowly catch up. Anthony is a year older, but both boys are in the 2015 class. They made an instant impact in their first year at Bosco. They won state as freshmen, the only brother combo in the state of California to win state as freshmen. Um, then they followed that up with a national championship as freshmen. And this is competing against seniors who were committed to, you know, say Oklahoma or Oklahoma State, uh, Division I colleges. And these kids were 14, 15 year old freshmen beating 18, 19 year old men and displaying their dominance on the mat. So it was really incredible to watch. The accomplishments of the Valencia brothers are nothing short of amazing. Anthony has only lost four career high school matches. He's won two state titles, one national title, and he's won the prestigious Ironman tournament in Ohio twice. Zaid, meanwhile, has only lost one career match. He also has two state titles, three national titles, and he has won the Ironman three times. With a proven record of winning like that, it's easy to understand why their coach calls them the greatest high school wrestlers of all time. What makes them so special is their work ethic and their ability to continue to work over uh, a long period of time without rest. And it's always about getting ready for the next goal. And so as long as they have goals, they're always preparing. The work ethic comes from their father, who got them started when they were three and four years old. What began as just the two boys wrestling in their dad's garage developed into a youth wrestling club called the Monster Garage. I always tell their dad, I go, you're like Dr. Frankenstein. I go, you know, he built a lot of champions. A lot of kids club champions came out of that club. And I tell him, you're like Dr. Frankenstein building all these little monsters, all these wrestling monsters, you know? We, we brought um, some guys to train with us at Monster Garage, and, and we just worked hard, really hard, and um, we just got good because we knew we were working harder than the rest of the country. Having someone at home to work out with at any time has been a big benefit for the Valencia brothers. We're very close. We do everything together. Um, it's, you know, we're both competitors, so we like uh, to see who does better at each other, man, so I guess that just makes us better. It's really cool. We, we have fun winning together, and uh, whenever we do have a loss, we push each other to keep on working and keep on getting better. The sibling support has served them well, and they'll stick together for four more years at Arizona State as they look towards greater things. I would like to be together throughout the four years of college and then still be together when we try out for the World and Olympic Trials. I want to be an Olympic gold medalist and also a world, world champion. It would be a great accomplishment in, in my sport and everything I've worked for. It's all going to pay off. They have dreams and aspirations of being Olympic champions, world champions, and, uh, and I think they're well on their way to doing that and accomplishing those things. If the next few years are anything like the last three, the Valencia brothers could one day become the biggest names in the sport.